Hi everyone. We've been hearing a lot about Zoom getting hacked, Zoom getting inappropriate, inappropriate content coming in from some random people. Obviously, it can happen, and uh, I would just uh, provide you some settings which can prevent people from spoiling your teaching session. Note: this video is not to kind of give you information on how safe or unsafe zoom is this is just a precautionary video created so that you know some advanced settings in zoom which can help you in preventing unwanted people causing disturbance to the classroom i am not saying zoom is a, the most safest video conference system today for teaching because there is a long way to go into it to make sure that we have a system of education online there has to be an end to end kind of encryption needed the machines of students to be again uh, you know connected with some kind of a like a mac address locking but i'm not getting into all that because we as an education system there were very few solutions today you got webex you got zoom you got google meet they all have their advantages disadvantages but i am just trying to give you some kind of setting information for zoom which to some extent can prevent hacking it may not necessarily give you a full 100% full proof system so let's look into it so there are three aspects so uh, one would be uh, you know kind of sharing uh, screen one is muting sharing screen settings one is muting all the participants when they join the video one is how do you look into the chat settings and the fourth one would be the spotlight video settings so let's understand one by one now when you click on share settings advanced sharing settings here you make sure you allow only the host to share make sure by default the setting is all participants make sure it's only host okay so that's the first setting you need to look into it the second setting is the chat setting so when you click on chat make sure you click on these three buttons here now just mention participant can chat with host only right not everyone publicly with host only so this will prevent some random guy to some random text to you to the entire class the third setting when you click on manage participants make sure you mute all the participants you tell all the participants that in case they have query they have to type the message right i know this can be inconvenient but anyways in india we have like 40 50 people going on the chat if everybody starts you know talking it it's actually going to be a disaster for the you know the the video conference teaching so make sure you mute all click on more and i would as a teacher mute participants on entry i wouldn't allow the participants to unmute themselves so i would keep this unchecked allow participants to rename again i will keep it unchecked i will make sure that the students put their real names otherwise as a teacher i would just throw out the student whose name i am not aware of put participants in waiting room on entry there is uh, you know some controversy on that that the zoom is tracking you in case you put it on but right now i would put the students in the waiting room on entry and admit themselves them uh, one by one as a teacher and when i am sure my entire class is in or if my time of joining is you know 5 minutes beyond you know whatever your cut off time is i would just lock the meeting now once the meeting is locked no new attendees can join this meeting so make sure even this is enabled the final setting would be as when i go on my video settings i would kind of always uh, 
do spotlight my video when I speak so that nobody else's video is shown and I would also hide non video participants just for a simple reason is if I have unwanted people coming in the video uh, you know I if I if somebody gets hold of my username password you know by any chance and he just shuts off his video I wouldn't want that person in that room I mean if I am a teacher I would want to see all my you know students there I mean it's up to you not as such a very big safety setting but note when you're giving your username password probably try and give it to you to your closed group I know because it's a common username password meeting code and password some naughty students might pass on to other students to disturb the class that's gonna happen that still happens in your classroom but here somebody's doing it it in an invisible mode so that's it so that was my small video on explaining you the settings it may or may not be the best way but i would suggest try it once to see how your classroom can be controlled by it thank you everyone